Today we're going to talk about workbook 6a exercise 4. In the textbook it's on page 1516. We're taking a very big jump from what we have been talking about, which is algebra, to what we're going to do today, which is solid figures, and it's a very different topic. If you look on page 15, you can um, see that they've given you kind of a 3D drawing on the left, and then it's, it shows uh, just a regular kind of line drawing on the right, and of course my drawings are significantly less attractive than theirs, but I think you can get the idea of what they're supposed to look like. I do think it's a good thing to look on page 15 at how their 3D drawings work and look, just because that will help you kind of picture more what we're doing. Um, on page 16, we're just doing some very basic thoughts about 3D graphs. Number one, simply says the figures below show some solids, which one has a curved surface? Well, that's about the most obvious question we'll ask in primary math six. This is a round, a circle, or an oval, at the very least, and that is an oval, and so this surface is a curved surface. Now, the others, of course, all have lines, and that means that they are flat surfaces. Each of them are flat surfaces. They are not curved surfaces. So there you go. Option C is the winner. It has a curved surface. Pretty good question, huh? All of primary six was like that. You'd be done in no time. Number two, the figures below show some solids. How many faces does each solid have? So if you were to write a number on each face, and by face we mean each flat surface, so this particular shape has two flat surfaces on either end, and then if you look at the base, and then the back wall, and then this big front wall, you see that there are five faces on this surface. Now, maybe you could have looked at this and said, you know, there are two endpoints, and because the endpoints each have three sides, they're going to have three flat surfaces connecting the two endpoints, and that's another way to realize that there are going to be five surfaces. On the next figure, we call this, uh, the first one is a prism, because it has the same shape on two ends. The second one is a pyramid, because it comes to a dot at the top. On the pyramid, we have one shape at the base, and then notice my base has three sides, so I'm going to have three um, sides coming up to the top of it, and I'll just call the base the fourth side. We have three vertical sides and one flat side on the bottom that would be five faces. Again, it's hard to draw and show in the drawing, but if you think of something, if you pick up a pyramid shape or you look at something, you can tell what I'm talking about really clearly. The next one is the same thing. It's a pyramid. It goes up to a point. So, of course, there's one base side, and then how many sides, vertical sides, are there? Well, each of these um, sides of the base has a vertical side going up. So there are four vertical faces, and so that means that there are five faces on that drawing all together. So that's what we mean when we talk about a face of a solid figure. Number three, the figures below are show some solids. Which one is different from the others? Explain why. There's a lot of things that are the same about these. They all have a base that is a rectangle. When you could all say these have a base that's a rectangle. Um, they all are, of course, three-dimensional. They all have lots of things in common. The one thing that is different about these, and I'm arguing with myself about the whole base thing, I'll tell you about that in a second. This last one, letter D, is a pyramid, not a prism. All of these are prisms. A pyramid goes to a point, and the pyram a prism 
has all the bases the same, or has two bases that are the same, which is why I don't really need to call that a base. What I need to say uh, is that this, these have two triangle bases. So really, uh, all the rest of them have rectangle bases. And notice, there's a bottom base and a top base and four sides. There's a bottom base and a top base and three four sides on that one. This one has two bases and three sides. This one has a base, but it's a pyramid. So this one is the one that I would say is different because it has a pyramid instead of being a prism. All right, so with just that much information, you're going to go ahead and work on exercise four. Uh, it's just introducing the idea of solids, and I don't think that it's going to ask you anything that feels tricky. So go ahead and do exercise four.